Marcus Storhaas is following the footsteps of his father and grandfather. Once you're a beekeeper, you're always a beekeeper. Tending to 15 hives, this is his oasis, a break from his construction job. When he recently became a dad, he thought more children should know about bees. A lot of kids are afraid of bees. They're still afraid, they're worried that they get stung. And I wanted to show them um, you know, how, fa how fascinating uh, a hive works. So the male bee, what is it called? Drone. Drone. And you all love the boys, why? They don't sting. They don't sting, yeah. Welcome to Becoming Leaders, a camp generating quite a buzz. Does anybody want to hold a boy? The idea? Give kids hands-on experience with bees, literally. I like eating honey and I like being close to the bees. The hope is kids who understand bees can help protect them. They pollinate a huge part of our, our food supply. And if we, if we aren't taking care of them, we're putting ourselves at risk. No question, bees are in trouble. Over the past decade, beekeepers across North America have reported mysterious, disastrous mass deaths, dubbed colony collapse disorder. Mites could be the culprit. Some scientists blame pesticides, known as neonicotinoids. Whatever the cause, Marcus himself has lost hives. If experienced beekeepers lose 50% of their hives or even more, then you know something is wrong. So who wants some chewing gum? At the heart of this is teaching children where their food comes from. I'm spinning this extractor thingy to extract the honey from the comb thingy, the frame, and it's buzzing busy here. Of course, every camp has a little drama. Two campers jab fingers where they shouldn't and get stung. A little bit painful, but not that much now. But everyone else, unscathed. Hello, anybody wants honey? Now making a bit of money selling honey. Then we'll just take honey to start. Profits are donated to a food charity. You feel proud to like be like collecting the honey and then selling it, and earning money for it. What do you hope comes of it? A new generation of beekeepers and um, a fascination with what, what nature has to offer for us. Huh? Perhaps bee school grads may be the solution to the plight of the honeybee. Duncan McHugh, CBC News, Vancouver.